history made 50 years ago this week, right here in this room. This is Apollo 11 Mission Control in Houston, where they watched, where they guided those astronauts who would land on the moon. We have teamed up tonight with our partners at National Geographic for an extraordinary look back for a tour of this room. Rare images many have not been seen in years. Take a look. It was 50 years ago this week. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, the Apollo 11 astronauts, suiting up as America waited. Would they do it? Would they set foot on the moon? America's team of astronauts was increased to 16 today with the addition of nine new members. It was specified that they will be trained for trips to the moon. A grand new goal, first set by President John F. Kennedy. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The zero gravity training. Astronauts preparing for America's first lunar mission follow a complex training program. The simulations, walking in their spacesuits, the tests in the water. Americans had so many questions about the mission. This is for Mr. Armstrong. There's been speculation about what the first man on the moon will say when he gets there. Will you prepare something ahead of time, or will it be, pre be prepared for you? Or can we expect a spontaneous exclamation? Attention uh, during the training period and up till, till now has been focused on how to do the job and how to do it best, and not so much with what might be the emotions of the moment. And then it was time. 50 years ago, tomorrow morning, families across the country gathered in their living rooms, hundreds of millions watching all over the world. The estimate is more than a million persons are in the immediate area. Gathering along highways, beaches, setting up tents, children wearing space helmets, ready for launch in Florida. We're down to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We're down to 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. We should see fire. 4, 3, 2, 1, ready to go. At 9.32 a.m., Apollo 11, lifting off. I can see her rising now. The control room watching, some with binoculars. The view spectacular, and even more so from inside. After traveling 240,000 miles in 76 hours, Apollo 11 enters into a lunar orbit. The next day, the lunar module Eagle, with Armstrong and Aldrin inside, separates from the command module where Collins remained. Hours later, the Eagle begins its descent to the moon, and it did not come without alarm. Program alarm. 1202. 12.02. A 12.02 alarm means the lunar module's computer is overloaded. If the problem cannot be corrected, the landing will be aborted. Give us a reading on the 1202 program alarm. The control room silent, but they soon decide it's a go. We're, go. we're going that fly. We're going that alarm. It's Neil it's Armstrong flies the lunar module manually, evading boulders in their planned landing location. With their fuel running critically low, flight director Gene Krantz, back in mission control in Houston, gives a 60 seconds to abort warning. They make quick calculations at NASA. Okay, here's it. Looks like a good area here. Forward. Forward. 30. 30 seconds. 40 feet down, two and a half. Okay, engine stop. Houston. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Breathing again in mission control. They break into applause in Houston, some wiping away tears. ABC News showing Americans all over the country watching. Here is Central Park in New York where it's raining on the people who have assembled for, I guess you would call it a moon in. The images beamed back live. The control room sees it. And we're getting a picture on the TV. Cheers back on Earth, back in America. And then Neil Armstrong emerges. I'm going to step off the lamb now. 
July 20th, 1056 p.m., Neil Armstrong walks on the moon in those famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He's on the moon! It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like much of the high desert of the uh, United States. 19 minutes later, it was Buzz Aldrin's turn. Back home, tears, and a little girl waving her American flag. Beautiful view. In this image, we all now know of Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, the reflection in Aldrin's visor. And back at Apollo Mission Control in Houston, they knew they had a lot of work still left to do. Yes. These are the chairs they sat in. Yes. And the consoles they sat in. Yes. Here in Houston, the they show us the where they have restored oh. Apollo Mission Control. The consoles, the screens, the, the Apollo program on the monitors. Even the cigarettes and coffee mugs are right where they were left. And Sandra Tetley, who helped lead the project, takes us to the console where Flight Director Gene Krantz sat. He tells an interesting story. He said after they landed on the moon, there was cheering and, and controlling, and the whole view, viewing room was just cheering because they had landed on the moon. And she shows us something else here in a room that now preserves all of that history made. She takes us to the console the where the flight surgeon sat, the doctors. And that would be on the screen, a heartbeat. They had Neil Armstrong's vital signs right in front of them the entire time. Absolutely. And Buzz. Right. And Mr. Collins. Right. They were monitoring the astronauts, their vitals, at every moment. And as they guided them from this room on that journey home, a message they left on the moon. Underneath it says, Two men from the planet Earth, first step foot upon the moon. July 1969, it came in peace for all mankind. Wow, there is so much more from the archives, and every moment is really fascinating. And you can watch the full film, Apollo Missions to the Moon, at NatGeoTV.com. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.